Hey, welcome back guys. Um, this is a, tip, a bit of a different type of a video I wanted to make today. Um, this is uh, more of uh, talking about my life in cryptocurrency, how it started, some of the friends I've made, some of the friends I've lost, um, and everything else basically in between. So I'm not going to put any intros in this. I'm not going to put anything else in this. Um, I probably will release this video when I feel comfortable. But I wanted to make the recording today. Uh, and what it is is... I've like so I've known about cryptocurrency since 2010 um, most uh, much more um, in 2011 especially Bitcoin um, but I've never ever been one of those who kind of trusted it just like everybody else right I was uh, uh, you know I was a bit of a skeptic in the beginning it took me many years to understand it it took me many people like many questions like everybody else has right so I see a lot of these guys and I welcome it because I, I know I went through that phase right so I go ahead and, uh, you know, I try and answer as many questions to people. I try and help out everybody. I give my time for that. And, um, you know, I just want to get them on board and see how, uh, you know, if, want them to experience the difference. And, you know, ultimately they'll see they'll be gainers. So my journey started, um, you know, in 2016 when I finally um, decided to buy my first one. Before, prior to that, I was given some, um, but given some wasn't really the same as actually going out there making the effort to buy one so 2016 i started my journey and i bought some and funnily i i entered just before the bull run and i had no idea about the bull run i had no idea about the market cycles but I, you know i was just trying to understand certain things but i did have some experience in like you know uh, trading and all sorts so it was quite different i stock trading i would say completely different to cryptocurrency and i realized how you know, so I started looking at the charts, kind of looking at the charts, and I was looking back into time. And when I started deep, diving deep and diving deep, I realized how, you know, what the cycles are for Bitcoin, what it's particularly done. So, you know, I've done the research. I used to be a skeptic. I'd done all my research. I asked all the questions and I felt brave enough to go out there and do it myself. Right. And I did it in 2016. And then I started looking at the charts and kind of trying to figure it out. And I realized that it's different, but I, I could see the history. And then when I'm looking at the history, I could see that it was like a penny. And then it went from a penny to a pound and from a pound to 10 and X, Y, Z, right? So I'm doing it in pounds, right? Or even dollars, the same different story, right? I could see multiplies, right? It keeps on multiplying. It's always 10x more than what it was before. And that was the fascinating thing about it. I said, well, that's very volatile and that's very good. But then taking into taking other metrics into account, um, you understand that, you know, it's a brand new coin, right? It's brand new. It's still brand new. I mean, for me, when I was in it, it was like, what, um, 2016, pff, I don't know, what, I don't know, six, seven years old, six years old, something like this, right? It's still a baby. It's still a baby. Um, even now it's a baby. So um, I took it on board and I said, um, you know, I can see fascinating stuff going on. So during that time, I had some really close people, um, people who I cared about, people who helped me um, in my past life, in my struggles and everything. And you know what? They're, they're still dear to me. I still are still dear to me. Half of those guys I don't talk to for other uh, reasons and whatnot. Um, but there are some guys that, you know, I do talk to and some guys who are very close to me, um, you know, even some of my family members and everything as well. I went ahead and I said, I said, you know what, you know, put whatever money you can, just buy as many Bitcoin and just hold, just hold for five years. I kept on saying that, hold for five years, hold for five years. And funnily, nobody listened, right? As usual, they don't listen to you because, you know, you, you, you're mad, you're crazy, you're nuts, right? I have no idea what you're talking about, right? There's plenty of better things to do and plenty of better things to put your money in. So I come along and... Um, you know, I said, okay, I'll move on. And, you know, there are some really, really close people who will listen to you. You know, you're going to listen. They're going to listen to you. Um, so you got, I went up to them and I said, oh, guys, you know, I, I, you know, do me a favor. Do me a favor. I kept on saying that. That's the word I use. I do me a favor. You know, um, put whatever money you can, right? Any little bit, right? You know, 500 pounds or, five, you know, 1,000 pounds, 5,000 pounds, whatever you can afford, right? Put it into Bitcoin. Nothing else. Just Bitcoin. Put it into Bitcoin and see what happens. During that time, a lot of the guys didn't listen, um, you know, and I kept on growing, kept on growing, kept on growing, and people could see I'm growing, I'm growing. 
and um, I have a very good, uh, very close friend. Um, well, I had a very good friend. I'm hoping he's still my friend. But the point is, is he was there. Um, he's not here anymore. He's just vanished, kind of. But the point is, is during that particular time when I was telling people, people didn't listen to me. And I found this to be quite a bit of a coincidence that I've gone ahead and shouted and screamed to many, many people, many, many times, many, many years, right? And what I found was one thing that was very similar every single time. People don't listen to me. But when somebody else who's like either associated with me, who bought with me who, or who listened to me, um, but doesn't have a good intention or something like this. And, you know, I'm just basically just buying and just copying me or whatnot, right? or they've tried to they've decided to take a leap of faith people will trust them more than trust me and um you know a lot of the guys got burnt like this so they ended up buying um bitcoin at a very high price right back in 2017 they ended up buying bitcoin at a very very high price even in 2018 when the market was dumping they're on the hope phase right and they're buying a lot more so one of those brothers right and you know there's many 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 but there's one particular brother um he says to me he said look i'm going in there and this and that and at that time i had a whole stash of bitcoin so everyone's like right you know we can see you've made funds you made money right but the thing is is end of the day and i'm like look it's not money i've, I've just got bitcoin that's all i've done i've just accumulated bitcoin because again it's a very uh, different concept right when you think about money money is what you use to pay your bills do what not and this and that but when you're accumulating bitcoin doesn't matter right it's just how many more bitcoins you got tomorrow bitcoin could be a pound so i've got a pound's worth of bitcoin and then tomorrow you know it could be the opposite bitcoin could be worth a million so i've got a million pounds worth of bitcoin but that's your intrinsic value that you have i don't have that value i don't have the value i'm, I'm more emotionally attached to bitcoin as a bitcoin as a independent thing for me one bitcoin is only worth one bitcoin right um, currency can uh, fluctuate, right? So your currency could be stronger against Bitcoin or could be um, weaker against Bitcoin. So that's a different um, um, different story. So, I, I, you know, I personally don't look at that stuff. For me, it's more important that I know that I have a certain amount of Bitcoin and that's all I've been talking about. So anyway, so the guys come along and they they buy and they, you know, they, they decide to invest money and buy Bitcoin and hand over their Bitcoins to some other people or one specific, uh, specific person that I also knew and I also trusted. And he vanishes off the face of the planet. Um, we all know probably why, but doesn't matter. I'm still not thinking negatively of this person. So yeah, if you're listening, brother, um, you know, just give me a shout, man. My number's still the same. Everything's the same. Look, I haven't gone anywhere, but what I would really appreciate is any person's money that you've taken here, yeah, bro. This is a request here. Just give him the money because right now, whatever Bitcoin you took is worth a lot, lot more, right? Probably about bloody 100 times more than what it is. So, it, you know, rather than cheating people, give it back. But anyway, let's get back to this one guy. So this one guy comes along and says, oh, da, 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 da. You know, I had my faith in you because of you. I, I'm like, dude, no, you invested your own money. But I'll tell you what, I'll do you a favor because I know you very well. I'll tell you what, whatever money you invested, you know, I will try and give you that money from my own pocket so you don't lose it out because that's what you are. You just made a, you're, you're only worried about money. Whereas in me, I don't have a value for money and you do, right? So I'll give you all that money basically and you can do whatever you want. So take that from me. That doesn't matter if I've got it. So obviously, time goes on and, you know, more and more people, more and more people come along and, you know, they're, they're getting on board and they're finally understanding. Oh, I, we finally understand what Bitcoin has been doing. We finally understand what you've been shouting and screaming about, but they're coming in. And they think basically that I'm going to give them the same type of a guarantee that I just give this brother where I said to him, this is one person, by the way, where I said, you know what, whatever money you've lost, I'll tell you what, I'll give you that money. Just got to be patient with me and I'll give you that money. Obviously, he's not patient, but that's a different story. So I've gone ahead and I said, I'll give you that money. That's not an issue. Right. Uh, and that's about it. But again, he invested money with somebody else, but he invested Bitcoin. And basically, I just got to give him a Bitcoin. That's it. Right. This is problem solved. So then. You know that's a different story but ultimately you know that subject's been closed now so it's a different story um when you go to other people they come along now and they're like oh we we, we know what you're talking about we missed it can we still enter and do it and what kind of guarantees i'm like excuse me say that again guarantees why oh but you sorted this brother out Is it? Well, hold on 
that was me from the heart I dealt with him because the thing is is end of the day he's a brother I have respect for him he's helped me out in the past and somebody else basically that I knew very well right somebody else I knew very well decided to shaft him and shaft me and shaft everybody else right and leave it's a different story so um yeah coming back to what I was saying basically so this brother obviously is close to my heart um you know he's a nice fella he's helped me out in the past and this and that so with him i made an exception where i said you know what i've lost a shit ton of money All right well not money i've lost a shit ton of bitcoin but end of the day you know out of goodwill i'm going to sort you out i'm going to look after you so that's him his subjects closed right so you get all of these guys coming in i'm like what the, what what guarantee how can i possibly guarantee so you enter into bitcoin today and you want me to give you a guarantee just because of my word but then there's a thousand other people right talking about bitcoin hyping up bitcoin why don't you go and ask them for guarantee why me because i got the good heart well do you know what that day's over i ain't doing it no more right from now on as i say you do you i do me why i started saying that because end of the day the fact is is yeah when people end up taking your advice and making money they basically they're all good about it but if they don't they don't make money and they lose money or whatever they can't hold on to they don't have the patience to be like in the in the game for five six years right and they see bitcoin going up and bitcoin going down what do they do they panic and everything and then they come to you and you know what i don't want that attachment i don't want that attachment so that's the thing you know i mean people are more driven by money and this is why i always say i don't have any value for money but people are driven by money you know and that brings me back to another thing as well so recently obviously i'm i'm you know i've started making these public videos on my public youtube channel right this channel itself right so i'm making these videos and um i'm posting them and i'm trying to advise people and this and that and people see my trades and all sorts and this and that and a lot of the people go ahead and basically go behind my back right and um how they go and talk to other people oh do you know what he's milking it he's raking it he's smashing it is come on guys can't a person like me come onto youtube and tell people give advice to people show people certain signals especially the newbies that's all i all i help i don't i'm not here for the experts right you're all experts remember because you never invested at 500 pounds so you're all experts now it's that 50 you know fifty thousand dollars forty thousand pounds right you know you're talking about me making the money you could have made that money right that's what i'm trying to say you could have made that money but you didn't do that give me a second let me quickly come back so all the experts basically yeah obviously you know i'm i'm sitting there and i'll tell you guys when it was like 500 quid 600 quid 700 quid right a thousand pounds and i'm telling all of you guys you know look this is your perfect opportunity to enter into a stock or into a kind of a commodity or an asset right which is going to go exponentially grow even further and you guys didn't go in because you guys were experts right you knew that i'm going to put my money into this i'm going to make more money right uh, i'm going to put my money into a house and i'm going to make more money well guess what you don't really make more money in a house that's the difference you judge people right you you guys i'm telling you you just lose it you never understood it you know but you take advantage of people like me and you think basically all right this guy's got a heart yeah this guy's sentimental yeah so let's do this but you never listen i'm crazy when i'm telling you and when you didn't do it you come up and you go behind my back and you talk to people and oh he's milking he's making money he's, he's smashing he's a bloody millionaire no i'm not i told you on my videos i don't have a penny why because I only care about Bitcoin. Do you understand what I just said? I don't care about money. I'm not in it for the money. There's a difference. I never made these videos for money. I never done my trading for the money. I only wanted to help people, right? Because I knew that I found an asset which is benefiting me. And I said, you know what, guys? I can see where this is potentially. When I decide to finally exit, I know what I'm going to be worth right but the difference is yeah people want money today people want to grow today because everyone's an expert right i'm no expert i'm definitely no expert and i'll tell you this right but i did i put my money where i know it's just going to grow and it's going to grow and it's grow right so guys don't go around doing this it's not nice right it's not nice at all you know um if you if you don't want to listen don't listen you know if you want to put it through one ear and take it out the other do that by all means but don't be that guy that didn't listen in the beginning and then now because you're seeing how much bitcoin's worth and everything going around and putting down spreading rumors and everything don't do that that ain't nice that ain't nice right it's not like you don't know what i'm worth you don't know what i've got right 
So keep it there. Keep it like that. Because I ain't telling you how much I've got. I ain't telling you what I've got. I ain't telling you how many Bitcoins I've got. But I can tell you one thing. When it comes to money, I haven't got anything. And I talk about it openly. That's the difference between you and me. You value money. Everything's in money value. Money. This guy's a millionaire. He's a billionaire. He's got... That's what it is. It's just money. For me, it's not money. For me, it's how many more Bitcoin, how many more cryptocurrency. And I'll tell you openly, I said it to you, right? I say it all the time. I'm invested in the top 400 coins. You got a problem with that, right? But anyway, listen, this is not a hate, right? This is love. As I said to you guys, yeah, there's a lot of people who are dear to me. There's a lot of people who I care for, right? And I care for everybody. It doesn't matter. You're all the same to me. I care for everybody. For me, I've always got a place in my heart for everybody, but don't go behind my back and talk nonsense behind my back. You've got something to say, say it in my face, right? If you've got anything bad to say, anything good to say, yeah? You, you basically need to understand, listen. I say things, listen. I'm not a financial advisor, right? But I've been talking for years and years and years and none of you listened, none of you listened. And today you come here, Anyway, it just hurts. So I just wanted to get this off my chest and I wanted to put it on the channel basically because I realized that a lot of people are watching this channel. That's what I'm surprised about because I have three other channels and nobody really watches those, right? And I've never mentioned it, but this channel seems to be uh, more, people are more attracted to this channel. A lot of people are watching this. A lot of the messages came from this. A lot of the information sharing or the assumptions come from this. So this is why I thought I'm going to put it into this channel. And um, I hope basically I've cleared myself. I hope publicly now you all know what the situation is. Publicly you understand that, you know, there's no point being the big man. There's no point being the big boss. There's always someone better than you. There's always someone worse than you, right? You know, you can't be the worst of the worst. And that's how I feel sometimes. Or you can't be the best of the best. And that's also how you people think I am. And I'm not. Trust me, I'm not the best of the best. I'm not the worst of the worst, right? There's always someone worse than me. There's always someone better than me. All I'm going to say, I'm a fortunate guy. I'm a fortunate guy. So you can either be worse than me, better than me. You cannot be like me. That's the difference, right? So just remember that, yeah? You can be better than me. You can be worse than me. But you cannot be me. Because I am me. I'm unique. And you be you, right? So enough of this uh, kind of a bloody sorrow video. Um, if you watched it to the end, then thank you very much, guys. Really appreciate it. But other than that, um, just a small message, basically, for whoever's watching and whatever's going on. Because look, I'm an open book, right? I'd say to people, I'm an open book, you know. Um, I'm not one of those. I'm a low profile, low key guy. You know, for me, very basics, like basics in life, right? What does a man need to survive? Food. You know, um, in my case, like food, petrol, and um, what, what do I do? What is the cigarettes, right? That's all I need. I don't really need anything else. So when you've got a person like me, right, who doesn't really need anything else, right, what does he do? But then you've got other people who got too many needs, right? But because they got too many needs, they're hungry. They're hungry, you know? I'm not hungry. Never will be, never can be. Um, my needs are so minimal. I don't need any, you know. So if that basically makes you guys feel that I'm minted, thank you very much for that. I appreciate that, you know. Um, but look, as I said, uh, it's just one of those kind of videos. <laughs> Messed up. Anyway, I won't really say anything else. Uh, like, subscribe, share if you want. If you don't, then don't worry. It's a message. It's a powerful message for everybody. But other than that, guys... Um, I hope to catch you on another one um, and I hope these sounds come out really well and I'll